I'm Corbett Wall with DV Auction here with your feeder flash for Wednesday January the 24th where we had a storm in the markets after the storm blew through that uh, kind of held things back a little bit on Monday and, and uh, clogged up part of the outlets uh, even in the southern plains just a lot of cattle moving up north right now a lot of farmer feeders still got orders up there they're wanting to put together some lighter cattle to get ready for grass already even though we're still in the the snow and blizzardy type season but uh, boy that thing blew through and, and it was blowing when it was there if you've never been in one of those whiteouts that they have up there in the South Dakota Nebraska areas uh, they're scary but uh, that thing blew on through there and better weather uh, got some snow which is kind of hard to maneuver through right now but it does lend some moisture and uh, after that thing blew through they had some wild markets uh, all in the plains up in that country but look at the board on Tuesday April live cattle up 82 cents at 124.80 February spot live cattle futures up a dollar 17 to end the day at 124.72 and if things don't change uh, our fats are going to be higher again this week March feeder cattle up a dollar 15 at 146.97 January feeder cattle up 72 cents at 148.62 and that uh, was quite a bit higher but just 10 cents higher than where your real-time index ended the day on Tuesday so uh, both your your cash feeders and your uh, feeders on the board going up about the same level of course we haven't seen any fat cattle trade at all but like I said if you look at what that board's doing your packers will probably wait until after your board closes on Friday just in hopes that the board does crash maybe even just on profit taking but the board's up so far this week and and you're looking at another buck or two higher if things don't change but uh, that's that's pretty early in the game to be talking about just on a Tuesday trade but uh, it's uh, everything's looking up so far this week box beef cutout values were higher also choice cutouts 206.85 to end the day on Tuesday that's up a dollar seventy eight selects at two hundred dollars and sixteen cents up sixty four cents now one thing that wasn't great so far this week and that's due to the weather also is your slaughter just 111,000 uh, harvested on Tuesday had kind of a light Monday also because of the weather and so far for the week just on the two days 199,000 and that's uh, 37,000 behind last week and 27,000 behind the same week a year ago so gonna have to pick that up and probably have a big Saturday to try to recover but look at some feeder markets real-time index like I said earlier end of the day on Tuesday at 148.52 with some big sales uh, with some with some really impressive markets up in the the northern plains and in the Midwest but uh, that 148.52 was up 64 cents look at some sales on Tuesday OKC West and El Reno Oklahoma had their calf sale 3,500 head of calves, a good movement there. Your calves sold four to seven dollars higher, and that was after a higher market last week, and, and just a lot of demand for feeders right now. West Plains, the Missouri Ozarks Regional Stockyard, 3,850 head on Tuesday compared to two weeks ago because they had uh, uh, didn't end up having much of a sale last week. Three to nine bucks higher there in West Plains, and, and a good market there, but. Uh, your, your really impressive sale was Phillips, South Dakota, and, and I told you before, they can have some monster sales, and they had one here on this uh, Tuesday. 7,500 head, just string after string after string of big uh, slugs of cattle. Compared to two weeks ago, uh, mostly two to five bucks higher, uh, more higher than that in certain spots, and and was was very active on the get-go and then just got progressively more active as the board stayed true and the board's showing a lot of strength with these uh, nice moderate gains and uh, and you guys really set their satchel down in Phillips, South Dakota. You look at the uh, automated market report from Cattle Market Central, you can see uh, your, your popular weights were big calves or short yearlings there weighing in the seven and eight weights but 1,320 head of seven weight steers averaged 754 at 153.27 on the weighted average 
on your eight weight 1600 head of eight weight steers average 858 pounds at 146.84 look at some other individual quotes Riverton uh, Wyoming had a good sale there look at this big slug of six weight steer calves 323 head of them at two o'clock on Tuesday weighed 610 pounds at 175.75 that sounds pretty high on a big slug I also got a, a, a text late on Tuesday Kingsville Missouri and, and West Central Missouri there just uh, south and east of Kansas City uh, sale that can really bring about some high prices but they had a string of cattle in there fancy blacks uh, with a good way up uh, and they were off of a string of 400 head but this one uh, string of 61 head of 609 pound steers bring 179.10 and you wonder how a buyer can give that much it's amazing how much you can give for some attractive cattle later on in a sale when you've developed a foothold on uh, on small bunches all through the day but uh, the last uh, individual quotes out of Phillips South Dakota 3.30 on Tuesday, 65 head of 859 pound steers bring 155. That's your feeder flash for Wednesday.